y'all this chime credit builder secure credit card took me through there because this is by far one of the most complicated cards there is that i have tried to grasp the understanding of how this works and it still got me like bruh how does this car work as far as the limit goes let me just explain <laughs> Okay, so I got my notes, okay, because I was like trying to literally review their website, look at their frequently asked questions, and find out as much information as possible before I came to y'all and be like, look, try this out. Okay, now I'm pretty confident that if you try this out, it could be beneficial to you, but it is confusing, okay? So this card is good for people who have low or no credit because it has no interest or annual fees. There's no credit check, um, which means no hard inquiry on your credit report. So there's no minimum security deposit required and it reports to all three credit bureaus, which is great if you're in the rebuilding stage and if you're new to credit. Now, to qualify, you need a Chime checking account uh, within 365 days of applying for this card and a direct deposit of $200 or more because this proves to them that you have an income. Since they aren't doing a traditional credit check, they got to know that you make money some kind of way. Okay, now the credit limit, which is what kind of got me hung up it was the credit limit so there's no preset limit the money you move into your credit builder account from your checking account sets the spending limit Th this is me talking it through with y'all okay so you have 100 what okay so you have 100 dollars and you transfer it over to your your uh <laughs> your charm credit builder account so that money is just there and then when you spend your when you swipe the credit builder card money is being deducted now let's just say you spent the whole hundred dollars okay essentially on a credit a traditional credit card that would mean that that's a hundred percent of your utilization has been used but on this one that doesn't matter it's as long as you make the payment for that balance that's what gets reported to the bureaus am i explaining it right Okay, because that's how I kind of, that's how I wrote it in my notes because like it was confusing me because it's it's like, is this just a debit card, bro? That's kind of disguised as a credit card, you know, because it's, if how much like your utilization isn't being factored into play, it's just payment history. So every month it just looks like you're making on-time payments to this time credit card, but are they reporting how much you're making or is it just, okay, so this month it was a hundred dollar credit limit somebody with this account please comment below and let me know how it reports on your credit report because i am confused okay like i feel like this would be great it's a great tool for people who are new to credit but there are so many other options like there are so many other options out there that are less confusing um you know that secure cards that you can graduate to an unsecured card, you know, so obviously you wouldn't be able to graduate. It would just be what it is forever with this unless they change something. But I feel like it's a great way for people to build credit, you know, who don't have any credit, you know, and they're using their time, you know, every day anyway, you know, um, and, and this is just be a way for you to utilize that debit card at your, to your advantage to get payment history added to your credit report. And so that's how I'm trying to make it make sense in my brain. Um, so I think it, it is good. It's very clever, but I do feel like there are better options for secure cards out there, such as Discover It, you know, or some of Capital One secure cards. I, I don't know about Platinum because it hasn't graduated for me yet and I've had it for some time, you know, and I'm still, I still got a secure card. So it's like, what? But I did get the Quicksilver one though, so whatever. But I do feel like there are a lot of other secure cards that you could get, you know, that will benefit you in ways. And then you also could grow 
You know, because it's like, I want to be rewarded for my on-time payments and my great utilization by you giving me a higher credit limit and an unsecured card. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get this, though. Like, it's great for people. Like, I get... Maybe it's geared towards students. If this, if this is geared towards students, and I take back, you know, well, no, I don't. I, I stand on what I say. But if this is geared towards students, then this is a great way for them to establish credit because you cannot spend what you don't got. You know what I mean? So that's fantastic. So essentially, is this just a debit card that reports to the bureaus? It's a debit card disguised as a credit card that reports to the credit bureaus. Is that what this is? And if so, that's great for the younger generation. It's great. It's great. It's great, but for me, it would be too much to keep up with because it's that credit limit thing that throws me for a loop. What does the credit limit report? Because that's one thing I have not seen how it looks on people's credit reports. Does the credit limit report? So if you have a $100 limit this month and then you decide to transfer $200 the next month, does it increase? Because does that, you know what I mean? Like, because typically with the traditional card, if your credit limit increases, then your overall available credit increases on your profile, thus increasing your credit score. But if you decrease it the following month because maybe funds are a little lower, will it take away? You know what I mean? So that's what I need to know. That's what confused me. And I wasn't able to get a clear answer on that. So if you have the answer to that, drop it down below because I really want to know before I, you know, um, start putting a, a message out there that, hey, students, go apply for this or people, go apply for this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm backing it. Right now, I'm just in the, this is clever, you know, debit card disguised as a credit card. It's pretty clever, you know, but it's like I'm also knowing that there are other options for people who are like trying to build, but also want to build and get an unsecured card eventually because to me, that's the whole purpose of credit building is to be able to have access to more money because I'm showing to you that I'm able to take care of what you are giving me, the little. And then when you give me the bigger amounts, I'm, I'm trying, I wanna show you that I'm able to handle it. You know what I mean? But keeping me here forever isn't allowing me to grow. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't be like, yeah, get this, get this, get this. But for somebody young, this is a great stepping stone for them to learn about credit. It's great for them. So I'll say that. So if you have any opinions about a uh, chime or your personal experience you want to share yeah just drop it down in the comments because i would love to hear it you know i would love to know um how this is working for you but i really feel like it's a clever idea for younger people yeah that's what i feel so <laughs>